It's day five! This is our last episode of Kingdom Quest with you guys. Let's go through the big ideas we've learned. We've learned that God is our king, but that we have an enemy, Satan, who tried to ruin God's kingdom with sin and brokenness. But we learned also that the king is victorious. Jesus destroyed sin and death, and now we are invited into the kingdom. So, if we choose to respond yes to that invitation, if we say yes to joining into a friendship with Jesus, a friendship with the King where we're actually joined into his family too, if we say yes to all of this, well, we've become a Christian. And our big idea is that our quest begins. A quest is a special mission, a wonderful adventure with a purpose to find new information, to learn more, to gain something valuable. And that's true for those who follow Jesus. We have a special mission, a wonderful adventure, and a purpose that God has given us. He's actually letting us join in to what he is doing as he brings his kingdom here on earth. In the book of Matthew, Jesus tells his followers to let their light shine so that people can see the things that are from God and give him praise to see how wonderful God our King is. Now, the book of Ephesians in the Bible has a reminder that God wants us to be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as God forgave us through what Jesus did. And those are just two of the wonderful mission adventures that our quest has that we get to be part of. When we follow Jesus, we get to read more about this quest and find out all about it. As a Christian, we never stop reading or learning more about what it means to follow God. There's always something new to learn. And the best part is, God is with us through it all. We can pray to Him, talking to Him about anything, anytime, anywhere. Imagine being able to talk to the King whenever we need to or want to. That's what it means to pray. God hears us, He understands and responds back as our good and perfect, wonderful King and Father. Remember our verse from day two, how our fight isn't against human beings, but against the spiritual forces of evil? The rest of the passage talks about putting on a special armor from God, the armor that doesn't protect us from arrows or weapons, but protects us from something far deadlier. Those evil attacks of sin, feeling revengeful or selfish or mean-spirited, protection from those that make us feel small or defeated. Now because of this, because we are his people, we have his protection, we have his help, we have his power. Our memory verse is from 1 Peter 2 verse 9. But God chose you to be his people. You are royal priests, you are a holy nation. You are God's special treasure. You are all these things so that you can give him praise. God brought you out of darkness into his wonderful light. In the end, the whole point of this quest is to bring praise to God, to let everyone know that he is the best, the most good and perfect and wonderful king who is worth following, who has saved us and made a kingdom for us to live in. When you have good news, you want to share it. We have a new baby. I got married. I don't have COVID. And so our quest to follow God and become more and more and more like him begins and continues as we read his word, the Bible as we talk to him in prayer, as we meet with other Christians, other followers of Jesus, and allow God to be the king in our lives, just like he's the king in heaven. The Bible says one day we will join God our king in heaven and that the kingdom of heaven will be truly complete with all the royal members of the kingdom, us, and that there will be no more crying or hurt or pain or brokenness because sin and evil have been defeated. God our King is victorious. Because of his amazing love for us, we are as well. We hope to see you soon.